Hi guys, uh, Jim here. Thanks for watching this week's video. Um, so the other night I had a dream that I played for Palace. Um, not uncommon amongst Palace fans, I suspect. Um, I played about four games on loan. I'm not sure who from. Uh, nothing really happened. I didn't score any goals. I just kind of did a job in central midfield, I think. I think uh, then when they went on to play for someone like Juventus for one game, maybe Barcelona, um, and that was it. Nothing happened in any of the games. Um, and when I woke up, I genuinely had to convince myself that I'd never played for Palace. Uh, such was the uh, vividness of the dreams. Um, and the reason I'm telling you that is because at the moment, supporting Palace is kind of like a, a dreamlike state because we've won four games and four now under Alan Pardew and we're absolutely flying. The turnaround since Warnock uh, was fired has been incredible, you know, and, and now the team are playing with confidence. Uh, and sort of attacking flair that we didn't even think, you know, was possible. So that's kind of where we are. It's um, I'm doing this video after we've beaten Southampton in the FA Cup. Another brilliant game. Um, loads more goals. You know, going forward, we just look so confident. There was a few changes from the, the previous game at Burnley. Most notably, the return of Maro and Shemak. Um, everyone knows how much I love Shemak. That Shemak for good song, obviously an example. Um, he's just absolute class. But what I love about him is alongside his ability and his skill on the ball, it's the guy's got unparalleled work rate and desire. You know, that first goal he scored yesterday was an example of that, sort of chasing up a loose ball um, that Fraser Forster had spilled um, to, to, to score. And then his second goal was the other end of his, the spectrum of the Shimak scale, was taking a, a chipped pass and then casually rounding the keeper and slotting home. The guy's absolutely brilliant. I'd love to see him score some more goals, um, which he looks like he's doing this season. And now he's back from injury. I think he really could be the guy that, that kicks us on, you know, from a team struggling down the bottom to maybe mid-table. And we deserve it, you know, in, in, in recent performances. We're just, we're really going for it. Pardew puts a very attacking team down at Southampton. Almost sort of four players up front. But it worked, you know, maybe it was a perfect game for that, being a cup game. It totally worked. And this is against a team who, you know, have arguably one of the best records, defensive records in the Premier League. So it's another brilliant performance. And it would be lovely to see us really make a go at the cup. I did actually, uh, in a moment of, of madness after the game, put 20 quid on Palace winning the cup. Um, 25 to 1, good odds. Um, it would be amazing if that happened. You never know, it's the sort of season now where anything can happen. So, you know, who's to say we can't go on a bit of a cup run, especially with some of the names that have dropped out yesterday in what was a crazy game, crazy day of football. Um, the other plus point for me is is Wilf. He just continues to get better each week and slowly getting back to that player we saw a few years ago in the Championship. I really think that he was stunted at United and, and has almost kind of regressed, but now he's looking more confident. He was involved in every game, every goal, sorry, down at Southampton. And I'm really excited uh, with the prospect of how good he could be you know, towards the end of the season. And will he come back permanently? There's, there's rumours of it. I wouldn't be against that. The one um, blotch on the day, I guess, is Scott Dan's own goal. He's having a weird old season, Scott Dan, isn't he? He's so quality, but he's having these weird lapses. You know, that, that mistake against Villa a few, uh, six weeks ago to allow Benteke to score. And now this own goal. Hopefully it's just uh, momentary lapses because the guy is quality and we need him at his best if we're going to stay up. But all in all, a great a great day and a great result. Another one for Pardew, so long may it continue. That's, that's the end of my video. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and, and, and comment and all that jazz. Now I'll pass you on to Jay from the Eagles Beak for his thoughts. And we'll see you next week for the post-Everton video. Cheers, bye. Hi, it's Jay back for another one of Jim and Jay's Final saves, looking back at the uh, the cup tie. Southampton, trip to the south coast for Palace. Decent away there, I have to say. Um, great atmosphere created by the Palace fans. Decent place to visit and um, they're really good weather, I have to say. Wrapped up warm when we left home um, yesterday morning. Travelled down and uh, by the time we got to the south coast, clear blue sky and uh, and sitting outside having a few beers, which was fantastic. But uh, on, to the, uh, on to the action and what result. I mean, I have to say, Southampton are in great form. Difficult to know about predicting for the game because uh, 
such Premier League teams and even Championship sides don't take the FA Cup quite as seriously as perhaps they should do. But fourth round is something to, to go for, really. Both teams showed respect for the competition and put out strong sides. Um, Palace very attacking. Southampton, you know, a good side. They had a lot of injuries going into the game. Um, both sides have players missing through international duty. So, um, but I was pleased to see Shamat back and, and, and say it proved. And him and Sonogo linked up really well. But um, poor goal to start with. Went 1-0 down after nine minutes. And I have to say, we were quite low down in the in the away stand. So it's quite hard to judge distances and how, um, you know, how far the ball is from different players. But... Um, didn't look great defending from the corner, but uh, but we responded really well. Um, great attack. Um, I think it's Sonogo shot on goal, which uh, was saved by uh, Forster in goal. Um, but Shamak piled in and, and put it away, and Shamak had a great game. For me, man a match. It, I mean, it's a tight one because there are a lot of good players, you know, good good performances for Palace. Um, Joel Ward at right back, Joe Ledley in the middle. Sonogo played well. Wilf was outstanding, um, showing a lot of confidence. Um, but, uh, but yeah, we got level. Um, the sucker punch, really. Southampton got a second through um, Scott Dallan goal, which is a near post, bit of a slice into the net. Um, but we fought back well again. Uh, another good goal for Palace, and um, the Palace fans were um, delirious in their way end, 2-2. Um, and I think that was only after 25 minutes or so. Um, so, the, you know, the game's there to, you know, to take, uh, for the taking, really. Um, but fantastic stuff. I mean, Palace, every time we, we attacked Southampton, we looked like we were going to score goals. Um, Shamak was brilliant. Um, I would had had a concern because he's been missing out through injury. What with Pardew at the club now, uh, you know, I was wondering how he was going to fit in. Um, but he took his chance um, fantastically yesterday. Two goals and um, and obviously the third goal from Shamak, brilliant. Great work by um, Joel Ward out wide. Um, fantastic ball. Shamak took it down. Took it around the keeper and slotted it away, and uh, uh, fantastic stuff. I mean, by half time, I think most Palace fans are thinking, "What's going on?" Um, you know, we've been on a great run, no, no doubt about it. But away at Southampton, Southampton are you know top four side at the moment, uh, playing good football, and um, you know they did yesterday. They fought back. The second half was a bit fraught at times, um, but even so, even even giving Wilf the ball in the second half, you know, he was a great outlet, and they were scared of him. You know, he was, you know, it's the Wilf of old. Uh, what we used to see him before he went to United, uh, he's come back, playing with confidence and passion. I mean, that's the big thing, you know, celebrate, seeing him celebrate like he did yesterday. And even for the for the own goal from Dan, he was, you know, he was, um, you know, he he was a guy that came went with the uh, with Southampton player before the cross came in, and you know, he was as annoyed as anybody else, you know, conceding that goal. You can see Wilf wants it as do a lot of the other players. So with the results that went. You know, went on yesterday. You know, you could. I mean, at the moment, as it stands, as I'm recording this, Palace are the highest ranked team in the uh, in in the FA Cup in the fifth round, um, with only three Premier League teams going through. So, you know, get a kind draw in the next round, and uh, anything can happen. But uh, what a fantastic day! Great game, great result, and um, and great fans as ever. Um, Christopher Wave continues. Um, we uh, we entertain Everton in the next game at home, and if we play anything like that. Uh, the other form Everton are struggling to find at the moment. They're, you know, they're, they will find us hard to uh, hard to cope with. But that's a different game. Let's enjoy this win in the FA Cup and see who we get in the next round. Um, thanks for watching. As ever, leave your questions for us below the video here on Palace Fan TV. Subscribe if you haven't already um, to see more of these. Plus, see uh, you know the the, the the videos from Palace Fan TV. Um, leave your comments for us on Twitter at Eagles Beak and at Five Year uh, Five Year Plan. On, on Twitter and we'll, uh, we'll get back to you or include any answers you want in these future videos. So yeah, thanks for watching and, uh, and uh, come on Palace.